New information in Iowa School District is shaking things up a bit this fall. After years of talks, Cardinal schools are moving to a four day week. Teachers and staff are excited, but the change has been met with some criticism as well. Local 5's Chenu here breaks down what this means and why the district hopes families can embrace the change. We're kind of a what I call a positive outlier, a rural school that's yeah. increasing enrollment. For more than a decade, Cardinal Community School Superintendent Joel Patterson has seen the district thrive. Quiet before the storm. Our enrollment has increased by 54.9% over the past decade. An essential part to all of this is the teachers and the staff. Patterson recognizes what teachers are up against day to day, especially with the challenges during the pandemic. Just the overall drain on our teachers was pretty heavy. It's always been a stressful job, but I think the pandemic has, um, you know, the pandemic has really uh, added to that. With teachers and staff in mind, the district is doing something different starting this fall, turning to a four day school week. I would just say that we have to really think differently. So what can we do to recruit and retain teachers to a rural area where sometimes they want to be in a bigger city where more amenities are? Patterson says this will help students and families as well. Stephanie Farrell's children go to Cardinal schools and she thinks this will help her kids succeed. I have very busy kids. Um, and we're on the go a lot, um, sporting activities and whatnot. So they really appreciate um, an extra day to get homework done. But other parents don't see it the same. Some of these parents question how the four day school week will impact family life. This parent wrote daycare nightmare. While this parent says they're going to cripple many parents' homes and financial lives with this move. Patterson says these discussions were not lost between he and the school board in their years of talks. Officials have food pantries in the works for students who may face food insecurity and are actively talking to different organizations about child care options for families. We did have people come and talk about four pros and cons against it. We'll follow that same one. and If there's something that needs to change and go back to a five day week, I know the board will look at that. I've, I've said many times that most of the districts that move to a four day week um, really like it. One of those districts is Waco Schools in Wayland. It's been on a four day school week schedule since 2013. Within the week, we wanted to adjust our whole system and schedule to be with kids when they were learning. We didn't want them to necessarily have to take things home and do stuff because like we said, our kids are busy. Sandy Van Tiger, a teacher in the Waco district, says people have embraced this schedule because of how much it's allowed families to spend time together and students to pursue other extracurriculars. Tim Bartels, the principal at the junior and high schools in Waco, says like Cardinal Schools, the initial idea faced criticism as well, especially over daycare. We're, we're both parents mm -hmm. and you just figure things out when when things change, you figure things out. If it's really good for people, then you try to make that work. And really a lot of credit to parents for taking a risk on this and saying, look, we're willing to figure this out because we can see the benefits in the future. For Pedersen, he says the risk is already starting to pay off. Some teachers are already re-signing contracts and they're getting staff applications. Just the start of benefits he anticipated. We are committed to uh, listening to our parents and trying to help because we don't want anything, one thing to bog down the innovation of the four day week. So we're willing. Cardinal schools hope this is the start of something good for the whole community. Peterson says the Cardinal District still hasn't decided if it'll take Mondays or Fridays off. They'll continue to do community surveys before deciding at the end of the month.